sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management. Hi, I'm Chris Lopez, technical marketing engineer for Catchpoint. And I want to start diving into Catchpoint's third-party integrations. There's a wide range of tools that Catchpoint's API can interact with. And in today's tech tip, I want to go over how to set up an integration between Catchpoint and your existing messaging apps. Right, collaboration tools like Slack and Teams, they're here to stay, and they're very much inseparable from the distributed workforce that we all find ourselves in. And feeding Catchpoint data into your support team Slack channel could be the difference between catching a disruption and responding to a full-blown outage. So over the course of this video, I'm going to go over briefly the concepts of APIs and webhooks. I'm going to install a Catchpoint webhook inside a new instance of Slack, and then we'll feed Catchpoint data into our Slack channel, and we'll be able to review the results from there. Let's hop in. So first, what is an application programming interface, also called an API? Well, at its most basic level, API is code that governs access and communication rules with the application or website it supports. When a company makes their API available to their users, they're giving them the power to repeatedly execute complex tasks without having to use the application standard UI to do so. For example, let's say I'm a small business with an online form that my clients use to sign up for appointments. I could use Google Calendar's API to automatically create an event whenever they sign up on my website. And I would craft that API call using data from the forms that my clients filled out. So I wouldn't need to send out 100 invites anymore. The calendar invite becomes an added function of the sign-up process, thanks to the API call that got sent out along with it. In this sense, APIs share data and functionality between different applications, and they let you bypass the user interface or site when dealing with custom tasks like that. Whenever there's code involved, it's hard for me to call it simple, but APIs are essential to a lot of those quality of life enhancements that often go overlooked. And hopefully, it's more straightforward when I say that I'll integrate Catchpoint and Slack using their APIs, or more accurately, using a webhook, which is like an API, but it's more convenient. Once it's set up, you'll see how Catchpoint's gonna be able to feed alert data into Slack channels. So here we are inside my new instance of Slack. And the first thing we're going to do is set up a webhook. Now, webhooks are very similar to APIs, like I was saying. But where APIs need to frequently pull a site or application in order to provide real-time data, webhooks activate in response to user-defined events, making them more convenient and effective for this kind of integration. So inside our Slack management portal, we're going to click this big green Create an App button, which will take us to a form. I'm going to call it Catchpoint plus Slack integration, and I'll assign it to my workspace I've titled Catchpoint. Once I've done that, we'll see a new page with a bunch of options here. But I'll just need to install my app to my workspace. Here, I've already determined what permissions my Catchpoint application will have inside of my workspace. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Allow. Next, I'll add the webhook. I'll start by activating incoming webhooks. And then once I add it to my workspace and define what channel I need it to be active in, I'll see a link for a new webhook appear in that menu. And this is important since we'll need this to implement it inside of Catchpoint and link the two systems together. Now inside of Catchpoint, I've added the new alert webhook and I've copied the link that Slack gave me. Also, when it comes to the format, you'll need to select a template or either put it in JSON or XML yourself. We do have standard templates, but we also have an exhaustively documented list of macros that you can apply to various tests. Once that's all said and done, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and that should make this take effect. Here, inside my Slack workspace, we can see catchpoint alerts starting to filter in under the channel that I specified earlier. This kind of integration would work very well with support teams that are already heavily invested into Slack or some other kind of collaboration tool, as you can see all of your relevant alerts with the bot Slack has configured for it. Also, the entire process only took me about 10 minutes, starting from when I created a brand new Slack account. Alert webhook integrations are not just limited to Slack. 
Like I was saying before, you can implement it in other collaboration tools like Google Docs and Microsoft Teams. This kind of integration is great for support teams and other technical teams because they help you unify data sharing during an incident and they help you bring your diagnostic tools into your key workflows. This integration has just been a small peek into what's possible with the Catchpoint API. In fact, there's another cool Slack webhook. And beyond that, Catchpoint has a lot of out-of-the-box integrations with other tool types. I'd love to go into all of them, but that's all the time we have for today. So thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management.